Welcome back. In my last posting, I said we were going to begin another beautiful journey on how to make the typical African dress of blouse and long skirt. And I showed you a particular design I drew by myself that I want to make. As you can see, look at the blouse. Look at how the hand is going to be, flay hand. And I said I was going to use this lace, this to make the flay hand. And I was going to use the actual material to make the long blouse. See how the hands are. And I was going to use the material too to do the skirts. But here I was going to layer the skirts, this part of the skirts with the lace. I was going to layer it step by step with the lace. So, and I was saying, how then can the Luther Law system come in here? How does it help you to be able to cut a fitting blouse and also make a fitting skirt? Remember in my last posting, I told you that the skirts, the typical African skirt has two faces. The fitted face that shapes your hips up to your the knee and then the down part that you can do all manner of designs that you want so the the reason i'm first emphasizing this is that these are the two areas that the luther law is going to help looking at this style now i need to look for a pattern in the luther law catalog that has this kind of fitted blouse look at it very well I'm going to look for a pattern in the Luther Law catalog that has this sort of fitted blouse with short sleeves, wide neck, short sleeves, fitted blouse. Because this flay hand is an attachment of my, by myself, which I will do. But let me get something in the catalog that looks exactly like this. So I went into the catalog, Luther Law catalog. And I came across pattern number one six two. Pattern number one six two. Look at this blouse. Just take a look at this blouse. You see that the blouse is fitted. It has a wide neck. It has a short hand, fitted bodies. So you can see that what I drew here, this pattern will help me to just get out the fitting for this blouse. And when I get out the fitting, I can now attach my lace to the hand. See how beautiful it is. The pattern, Luther Law pattern can help. You can do a lot of things with it. So what we are going to do now, we are going to trace this, this fitted blouse to serve as our fitted blouse upon which we can do all the designs we want on top of it. So in my next posting, we are going to start with tracing the top part of the blouse it has it's going to have four patterns exactly four patterns it's going to have this this is the back this is the lower part of the front this is the lower part of the back so in my next, next posting we are going to dot this first I start this beautiful journey to make this lovely blouse this very lovely blouse that I have drawn so remain blessed. I'll see you in my next posting.